So I went into Brandon to pick up some purchases and uh, deliver some gum machines. I uh, got the gum machines delivered as well as uh, another thing I had on Facebook Marketplace that I sold. And uh, picked up some uh, vending machine inventory that I was just going to flip over and uh, make a few bucks. Uh, you can see some of it in the corner here, right there. But um, anyway, the counts that the guy gave me, or initially gave me over email, were incorrect. Uh, when I counted the stuff when I got home, uh, there was some stuff missing. And uh, there was an overage for some other stuff, so the counts were way off. So I have to deal with that and settle that out. Uh, I had a buyer for some of it already set up at a certain amount and a certain count and I can't fulfill that count now. Um, there was supposed to be something like 1500 pieces and I only got 800. So I'm a little, not annoyed, but uh, just a little disappointed that I, in myself mainly because I didn't uh, uh, do a rough count before I left. Um, I'm sure the guy will uh, um, make it right somehow. So he's also got some other material that I'm interested in. So anyway, I'm sure I can uh, come out all right on it as well. But uh, kind of a uh, bit of an inconvenience anyway, at least. Anyway, um, also did some thrifting. So I did pick up a couple things as well. Uh, I've got a, a bunch of uh, silver spoons. They're not sterling, they're 800 silver. So coin silver or uh, 800 silver is what it is. Uh, like I said, also called coin silver. And that was a whole two bucks. Uh, so there's about $35 worth of scrap silver there. Uh, I'll check out the pattern, see if it's in demand, and uh, maybe I'll sell them as they are. But uh, worst comes, worst case scenario, I can scrap them for thirty-five bucks. And uh, also got a set of these. These are designer uh, mid-century modern candle holders. They stack up in different ways and such. So yeah. Uh, I've got to find out exactly what they're worth, but uh, at one time they sold for about $10, $15 per piece here, but uh, they might go for more than that now. I'll have to double check, but they were $7, so it was kind of a no-brainer. So pick them up, and uh, I'll put below what they're actually worth, so uh, we'll have a better idea. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that's what happened today. So I had some stuff walk into the store today. Um, I'll show you the stuff. A uh, little local pamphlet on a local church. Uh, some scribblers here. Vintage scribblers. Kind of neat graphics on them. There's a cowgirl. Little fishing scene. Let's see what else. And another lake scene, I guess. Another fishing scene. And a girl and her dog. Or a baby and her and the dog. Um, and I've got some local records. Probably not really valuable or anything. The one on. Uh, Oak Lake Centennial Choir and uh, one by Ray Lowry. I guess that was a local fellow. Anyway, and uh, then another one called the Oak Lake Ordeal. I'm going to have to throw these on a 45 player and uh, see what they are. And then we've got three Brandon Centennial ones as well. So anyway not terribly interesting there for most of you but and this uh doll dancing doll celluloid and tin and in the box so yeah that's kind of cool so yeah it was a good little buy um but uh yeah 
Anyway, so thought you might enjoy those. So it's the 8th of January, and uh, sales have been fairly slow in the store. I've had a few customers trickling through, but uh, nothing much for sales, really. Um, just the odd sale here and there, but uh, have been selling a little bit online through Facebook and uh, did make a sale on Etsy, a semi-significant sale of 300 US um, for a uh, sculpture, a bronze sculpture by Dennis Smith. So anyway, uh, that was all right. Helps pay the bills. Uh, did get a bill for hydro, uh, elect my electric bill for the month of a uh, of December was $712. So yeah, significant amount for uh, just electric heat, basically, mainly heat, some light, but yeah. And uh, haven't managed to move the uh, vending machine material yet, uh, the modern stuff that I picked up that is. So yeah, so I still have to move that stuff along. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I've advertised it here and there on Facebook on some specialty groups and such. So also in the news, I'm getting a new computer soon, hopefully, uh, sometime this week. Uh, I've also downloaded some fresh software, or will be downloading some fresh software that is into the new computer. And uh, hopefully it'll help uh, with the quality of the videos. Uh, I guess we'll see. Could be the user who is the issue. <laughs> We'll see, but um, yeah. Anyway, so hopefully there'll be an improvement in quality, but I'm sure there's going to be a learning curve, so bear with me. So I got my new computer, and this is it. This little tiny box is actually my new machine. You can see it's barely uh, bigger than my hand, but uh, yeah, a little tiny thing, but uh, does the job 10 times better than my old machine quite the machine um, cost uh, 250 which is a really good price a local builder out of Brandon and uh, he tunes them up and tweaks them quite a bit and mainly meant for gaming and such but uh, for me this is this is great it'll uh, handle video software and that sort of thing with ease so I'm quite happy with it so yeah, I've still got to get used to it. I've got uh, some stuff to learn yet and uh, some software to transfer over and such, but uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, this is the machine. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.